Okay, so this is going to be one of my favorite things for the hop. I like new ideas from other people that make my crafting life easier. So let me back out. This is the door to a closet in the room that I'm using for my studio, um, a second bedroom. So what I did was I took the command hooks, put them on the door to hang up something else that was there previously and I didn't pull them off yet I'm just hanging random stuff up there currently but this is all going to come down and I'm going to try a new idea that I saw as a member of another group and I will give the lady credit as soon as I look her up I will be back with more film as soon as I pull the command hooks off and put the new idea up stay tuned Okay, so there's a quick intermission in the video that I don't usually do, but I left something really important out of my video. And that is the name of the person who came up the closet idea that I based this video on. I met Susanna in Seth Apter's Facebook group. We were share uh, people were sharing uh, places where they create, and one of the things that she shared was a photograph of the door with all the paint hanging on it and I instantly went wackadoo over this idea. Her name is Susanna and her YouTube channel is Random Artist 222 and I wanted her to get credit because she's been so nice through this whole thing. I told her I don't, less than two days ago that she was going to be featured in my video, her idea, and ask her if she had a video and she said no and I said well it'd really be great if you did a video that way I can link the video in my video and she was so excited she did a video so in the video she's showing the door and her husband explains how he did it so I wanted to say thank you to Sus Susanna and her husband both for doing that and bending over backwards to do a YouTube video just because I talked about her idea in my video and I'm so appreciative it's wonderful that the YouTube community can be so nice to one another like that. And so I wanted to give her a special shout out. She gets credit for the whole idea. None of that idea of doing the stuff on the closet door was mine. Just saying. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so I got all the command hooks down. It did leave a little bit of residue behind on the door, but I don't really care. You can use Goo Gone or Crud Cutter. They smell nasty, but they work like a charm. So now I'm going to put up new command hooks. Okay, so here is the finished project. Well, almost finished. Let me explain how I got here. Um, I realized that I had some extra dowels that were left over from cutting them out of something else from another project. But when I went to put them across here, there wasn't much space. So I forgot I had these extra little cheap curtain rods that I bought at Walmart. I think when I bought them, they were like somewhere between 99 cents and a buck 99. And they did come with hardware to put in the wall. But I decided to put that in the drawer and that this would work perfect. I have too much stuff above my desk and I don't use these kind of paints very often. So I thought this would be a better solution to storage than going out and buying something else. All the stuff that I used for this project was stuff I managed to scrounge around in my art room and find without, you know, not spending any money. I had these. They were already in the closet door. These are the ones I pulled off. I got these from another project. These are Ikea hooks that I've had for about, I don't know, eight, nine, ten years. And then the paints I started slowly um, accumulating, but this didn't cost me anything because I saved my stuff and put it away for a rainy day and there we are. All right, so now I'm gonna put a second row on there because I'm not really sure how much weight that stuff is gonna hold. So I don't want to hang as many large tubes on just that one rod. So I'm gonna put a second rod be, uh, below this one and maybe disperse them a little more sparsely so that it doesn't pull the whole thing down. Um, and I don't know if I will collect any more paint. So the second rod below might be a mixture of paint and something else. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, 
I decide not to put the paint on. Let me back up so you can see the whole thing. I decide not to put the paint down lower. It's holding so far, but I don't think I should put any more on there. But I had a thought for the second one. If you don't have a place to hang current works of art or pieces of paper that you're going to use in a future project, this might be the way to go. You can order these S hooks with the little clippies on them, which I find I use every day in my studio. Um, you can order a bag of those, and these are very lightweight. They weigh less than than these hooks from Ikea do, so I might swap them over. It'll save a little bit of weight. But this might be the place where you can hang your paper. Like if you're working on a project and you're trying to gather paper and you want to look at it, to see how it looks hanging all, I mean, all together. Hang them up somewhere and look at them for a couple days. You know, people do that with uh, paint. They'll paint swatches of paint on their bedroom, dining room, living room walls and live with them for a couple months until they decide the color they really want to repaint. So this might be an idea for that. Um, I really do love sharing storage ideas with other people. When they give their room tours, I really pay close attention to the products they're talking about. I look for them later if I really like them. I hope they put a link at the bottom. And I go follow the link to see if it's something that, uh, that will work for me. And in my mind's eye, I try to think of how I can use it more ways than one. Because sometimes the way I thought was going to work doesn't work out. Let me show you another idea. All right, we are above my desk. See, this is all my desk. Yes, it's kind of messy right now. I'm in the middle of a process. But these things right here came from Ikea. And I can't clip these on here because there's not enough room. And then what do I do? Because if I hang these up high, then I, I can't get them over that bar. So what I thought was I would take those little clips that I got from Amazon and I clipped them on to the little cups and then I'm hanging them there and this is where my paint brushes reside temporarily until I can come up with a better idea so there are lots of ways to reuse things that you buy all right so let me move you over here sorry sorry moving 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 and this is where the paint was hanging problem is is the hang the paint would hang and it would bump up against other stuff that I've got hanging up high. So what I have now are uh, three brayers and then just some, some more empty hooks. I will figure something out to hang on this thing later. But for now, I'm going to leave it empty until I come up with a better solution. I might hang uh, mini books there or, I don't know, paper. Who knows? But whatever it is, it'll be a, yet another solution to a problem that I probably got from somebody else off of YouTube Facebook, so on and so forth. So I think one of my favorite things is that it is the sharing of information, looking at people's room tours to see how they store their items. It gives you new ideas. You just have to go with the punches. Don't throw your good stuff away. Don't throw um, storage solutions away. I have a... Um, I actually have two or three of those uh, clear plastic tubs that you buy at Walmart full of empty containers that I think that I can reuse over and over as my studio grows or gets smaller or I rearrange, I condense, I expand. It doesn't matter. But I don't throw that stuff away. I may throw away scrap paper. I may throw away ugly paintbrushes, but I do not throw away storage systems. This right here, this storage system, I've been using these for years. These are drain spouts for um, your house. My husband had a 10 or 12 foot long piece that he purchased where he works. Cut them. I gave him my longest pens and said, they've got to be at least this depth inside. He cut all my pieces so that my pens are pretty flush with the outside. And then I decided, well, you know, I, I have a lot of pens. But there's other things, and then I store some of the smaller jars of mediums inside here. I have a project here. I got a, a beanie baby here. And then, you know, I've used them, again, for my pens and pencils. Something else that's incredibly simple and costs you absolutely no money is cardboard or chipboard. 
I want to keep my pens, let me see if I can do this. I wanted to keep my pens kind of close together. So I took a random piece of cardboard, cut it to the length and the depth of the drain spout, and put it in here, and I have two different kinds of pens there. These are my Micron pens. These are colored Micron pens. Um, this one has miscellaneous pens and markers in it, but I wanted to condense what I was using, so this was the best way to do it, is just stick a little piece of cheap cardboard in there, and you've got yourself a divider system. Of course, those of you who are more visually inclined will cover them up with scrapbook paper or paint them or whatever. I really don't care. So that was my solution. Here I have the same solution for my um, jelly pens. I have black and white here, and then I have my Signo you can't see that, can you? <laughs> Hang on. I have my Signo pens, black Signo pens, and then I put two clips on the cardboard here because when I want to hold a book open, I don't have to get dig through a drawer. I just pull them off the end of the cardboard and I use them. So there are all kinds of solutions to all kinds of problems. Um, I just keep arranging and rearranging until I find something that makes me so happy that it stays that way until something else comes along and makes me happy. So there you go. Right now it's it's probably a little more organized lately than it's been in a while, but I still have work to do. Um, you know, so looking at somebody's room tour might give you ideas on how to store things. You never know. Um, I, re I rearranged my cart one day because I did have a whole bunch of Word and uh, little tiny scraps in these boxes here like this because the container broke on them and I didn't want to replace it. So I took these, put words on them, and stuck them all upright in the cart. Well, I noticed I wasn't using it. All I was doing was piling stuff on top of it. So I decided that was not the best solution. So what I wanted to do was to get my journals off the desk so I quit splattering them when they didn't need to get splattered. And I wanted to have my journals handy where I can pull out the ones that I'm currently using or will be using shortly this year. And I wanted them all up top within my reach. Then I put the words and the other collage subjects down on the bottom where I don't use them as often. So for me, it's all a matter of convenience. What am I into at the moment? That's what will go in the top of the cart. That's what's closest surrounding me. Okay, so that's it for my favorite things. I just wanted you to know that, you know, there are solutions to problems that you already have things for that you really don't need to go out and buy anything. And I am desperately trying not to accumulate more things, but rearrange and reuse the things that I've already spent money on. And that's it. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this kind of room tourish sort of thing. <laughs> I'm not, wasn't intended to do a room tour. It was all about the door. Um, let me show you one more thing. Those of you who follow me, or have been following me for a while, who are regular subbies, these curtain rods, again, came from Walmart. I have a very extensive collection of quilling paper and quilling kits. This is behind the door, the, the studio door, and that's my collection for my scrapbook paper, miscellaneous scrapbook paper, and miscellaneous card stocks. They're done according to colors. And they're in a magazine rack that my friend Carla at Cage Fish gifted to me when I went to meet her last summer. And I put these, my husband put, I didn't put them up, my husband put them up. These guys really are screwed into the wall because I, I this is something that's going to be permanent. The way I have them on there is from wire that I bought in a huge spool. It's just basic, cheap wire. It's not really worth, you know, I didn't want to put buy thousands of hooks from Amazon. So I took wire and I bent it in an S shape over a tube. Of, I think it was a tube of paste. Uh, stick glue, the small stick glues. Wound it on one side, turned it over, wound it on the other, and it gave me an S hook. And then that's what I hang my stuff on because I didn't want to spend any more money. I bought the rods. I was done spending. I had the wire. And Lord knows I have enough quilling paper. <laughs> And I wanted it up out of the way, but I wanted to see it. So every time I come in here and I close the door, I am reminded that paper's there and I need to use it. Of course, I can't say how often I use it, but I do once in a while. Something else that I repurposed, 
In our new kitchen here at this house, we don't have room to put a knife holder. As a retired chef, I like having my knives hanging up where they're accessible. I don't really like them in a knife block, but because of where I live now, I had to buy a knife block. So I had this leftover um, metal strip here for holding a knife. And I have all these, these um, metal containers that you can buy at uh, Container Store and Michael's. And so I took my knife holder and I took some of the boxes, the little round things, and I put them on here. Things that I wanted to see, to remind myself to use, I put them out where I can use them, where I can see them all the time and use them. So I just hung that, and my husband, I, my husband just hung these over the door, and then when I use them up, I can move them around, you know, they come on and off, I can refill them. Never throw away useful stuff like this, ever, ever. <laughs> All right, so that's it for my favorite things for the month of January's hop. I hope that you guys got something out of this. Maybe you got an idea, maybe you didn't, but hopefully you'll get great ideas from other people in the hop. Please follow the links and enjoy the hop. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.